No. Fuck. No way. No, we didn't just pull a auto. <gasps> My heart. We just pulled the auto. Yo. Oh my God. And we back. Today, I am making a financially irresponsible decision, but it's all in the sake of entertainment because hopefully you enjoy this video. Y'all know we do these um, basketball card unboxings and collection videos and so on and so forth. I was trying to think of different ideas to continue that trend here on this channel. And one thing I came up with was uh, buying a box for every single year over the last decade. So from the 2010 draft class all the way up to 2019, that is 10 Draft classes. I know it don't sound like it, but do the math. 2010, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. That's 10. 10 different draft classes. And the reason I'm saying that's going to be financially responsive is because the card hobby, the sports car hobby, specifically in the NBA, is booming right now. So usually you can go to Target to get like a $20 box. That doesn't happen anymore. The upcharge is ridiculous. So I'm going to be spending a lot, a lot of money in today's video. But I have a budget. Yes, Kenny, I didn't come in like completely, completely irresponsible because I did get myself a budget. And I won't tell you what that is just yet. But with that budget, I decided that the best thing for me to do is to rank the draft classes based on the players that I like. So if there is a draft class that got like 10 players that I really, really like, I'm going to prioritize spending a lot of money on that pack versus a lot of uh, a lot of money on one that I don't really like like that. For example, just off the top of my head, a 2014 NBA draft, don't really got a lot of players that I really like. We got like Zach Levine and Jokic, but I'm not about to spend $200 on the box when I don't get the players that I really like. So now I have to rank the last 10 draft class based on my own personal preference. And that's super important. My own personal preference. I'm not saying who is the best, who is the worst, but based on the players that I like. So after further inspection of draft classes, this is what I came up with. The best draft class. So my favorite draft class is 2012. And my top four hitters is Anthony Davis, Damian Lillard, Bradley Beal, and Chris Middleton. Now, obviously, the goal is to try to get some nice rookie cars because those are what... Uh, most valuable but in reality i don't care if you're a rookie i just want some nice autographs some nice looking cards 2015 is number two and we got car anthony towns devin booker uh, d'angelo russell and kelly Oubre. 2018 is luca trey shea and it goes on and on and on just ranking my draft classes so the idea is since that 2012 is my favorite draft class after this experiment i should spend the most money on that box while like i said earlier 2014 i may spend just 20 40 dollars if possible so now we have to scour the internet and try to find boxes that I like. I'm going for autographs. I'm going for, yep, autographs. Let's, let's leave it at that. Autographs and rookies. So after scouring the internet, which is mostly eBay in this case, I found 10 different boxes that I like. And well, I, I, I went over budget. I went, I went over budget, but it's for the sake of the video. I am going to be spending today $1,333.47. Which is the most I've ever spent at one time for a video, so it's 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 kind of it's kind of hard to do. It's like it's not that hard, but I'm really, I got I gotta tell my girlfriend, and that's not usually the fun part. Yo, babe. Yeah. I think we need to we need to talk. Okay. Um. So about a month or two ago, you know, we did that video, right? The card video, the first card video on the channel. Right. I, I admit that I did you kind of just a little bit dirty in that video. A little bit. I want to make up, make it up to you now, okay? And how are you gonna do that? I spent a lot more money <laughs> on what? cards. How is that making it up to me? Because you enjoyed that video too, didn't you? So now you get to watch me open up more <laughs> packs. I didn't get no profit from that. You got entertainment, and that is the best profit <laughs> imaginable. So I bought some more. How much? Like, how many packs or how No, dollar amount. Give or take 1300 Are you kidding me? Ladies and gentlemen, it is uh, uh, April 20th, Monday. And three things came into the mail. Now, I was going to wait until all 10 packages came together to open them. But I have this thing named uh, Impatience, and when I want to do something, I usually try to get it done ASAP. So what we're going to do is every day new packages come, it's a new day of card opening. Yes, that's the idea. So today we have this 2014-2015 Donruss. This is the cheapest thing we bought because this is a draft class that I don't mess with. Then we have this Gala pack box something. It was one of the more expensive ones, so I'm expecting some big time hits. And then lastly... We have this limited 
another one, but this only has eight cards, so it better be eight great ones. Now, as I mentioned, I, I am very impatient, and I, I already opened this one. I haven't ripped any packs, but I opened it and then realized that I wasn't recording yet. So, I don't get the satisfaction of the... Yeah, I'll get it on the other two boxes. So, this one, this Donruss, has 24 packs, 8 cards per pack. So, it was a relatively cheap one. And the chances of us having a big hit, kind of limited. But you know what? You never really know. So, here we go. First, we have Larry Sanders. Ty Lawson. Avery Bradley. Hey, listen. I read all the comments, of course, on these videos. And there are car collectors out there that say that their nine-year-old kid takes better care of their cars than I do. Okay? I'm, I'm just here having fun. I, I try to do my best, but I'm just here having fun. We have a John Wall production line, assist leaders. That's not great. Car Malone. Ooh, Car Malone. We don't mess with Car Malone around here, but we got a Car Malone. And we have a court Kings Ty Lawson, a Doug McDermott, whoa, rated rookie, Chicago Bulls legend. We're sleeving that one because, I mean, you know, I got a little attachment to the Bulls players, even though we traded Gary Harris and Yusuf Nurkic to get him on draft night. Uh, this is a pretty cool card. Draymond Green. And yeah, we do, we do get trolled here. But Draymond Green, number two. 409. <laughs> uh, not a super, super short print, but uh, regardless, then we got a Kareem Abdul Jabbar Elite. And then lastly, one of. Oh, Rookie Wiggs. Okay. I mean, he was a top pick of this year's draft. That's not a bad card. Daryl Dawkins. Oh, snap. A Daryl Dawkins. Not an on card auto, but it is an auto, Daryl Dawkins, and that is fire. All right. So that's our first auto of this box, and maybe the only auto we end up getting. Daryl Dawkins. Okay. All right. Not looking, not looking terrible at the moment. Patrick Ewing as our elite. And then a rated rookies, Julius Randle, the final piece of the pack. But the big hit, I, if that's what you want to call it, is this Daryl Dawkins auto. CJ McCollum, Iman Shumper, J.R. Smith, Kirk Heinrich, nice. Devin Harris, Chandler Parsons. Ooh, that's different. That's different. All right. Uh, Cal Lowry. And then lastly, our rookie is a man that I do not even recognize. We're going to keep it moving. But uh, this Chandler Parsons, kind of cool. Number two, one. 29 199 number to 199 on the Chandler Parsons Brandon Knight Dwayne Wade Dwight Howard Mike Miller Derek Williams Harrison Barnes press proof what the heck does that mean I mean it's number to 199 as you can see there I mean that's that's dope Shaq Shaquille O'Neal Big Diesel and then we ended off with a CJ Wilcox rookie Okay, I, got, I see some thickness here. Don't tell. So far, every thick piece that we've had has been a troll. So we start off with a Chris Bosch, Tyson Chandler, Josh McRoberts, Mason Plumley, Kevin Martin, Josh Smith. All right, all right, Josh Smith. Relic game trends. All right, that's cool. Josh Smith is a cool man, cool player. Uh, couldn't hit a three to save his life, it seemed like. But a Josh Smith relic patch, all right. Then we get David West and a Derrick Rose. Marcus Morris. Giannis. Antetokounmpo. This is sophomore year Giannis. Uh, but that's cool, man, to see a super skinny Giannis. I think I want to keep that one for myself. Reggie Bullock again for like the 30th time. G Glenn Rice. Serge Ibaka, let's go, Relic Patch, Serge Ibaka, that's that's a pretty cool card there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're down to our very last pack of this first box. So far, for what us paying sixty bucks, I think I, I mean, you can't put a price on fun, and that was super fun to open. I got some pretty decent cards in there that at least I like. I don't know if any of them are valuable, but as far as what I like, I mean, we got a decent amount. OJ Mayo, Nick Batum, Rudy Gobert. Love to see that one. We got a Chris Webber. Okay, quick swoop in. And it is an auto Chris Webber. Nice. Nice. That's super cool, man. I got a like two or three Chris Webber shirts. So it's cool to have a card of him right now. He's that's a terrible 
Atrocious signature, but we got it. Bradley Beal as our elite, and then KJ McDaniels as our final rookie. You know, for 60 bucks, I cannot complain whatsoever. I had a lot of fun ripping that one. We got some pretty decent stuff there. Nothing super crazy, but we had fun. And at the end of the day, there is no price on fun. So Don Russ for the $50 W. Next, we pull up to the limited. Y'all like that? <laughs> we pull up to the limited on this one. So for your reference, this only has eight total cards. And it's one of the more expensive ones that we bought. So let's let's get it rocking, baby. Let's hope that we hit because there are a lot of different scenarios. You can pause and see, you know, what we could get here. 2016, 2017. Let's open up a little anxiety opening up the expensive stuff. OK, I don't like what I see on the back there, but here we go. OK, so we start off with Stephen Adams. Boogie Cousins. A Steph Curry numbered to 99. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. All right, all right. We have a counterparts. Now, these two dudes matched up against each other in the playoffs eight, nine times. Steve Nash only won one of those nine times. These two guys matched up a bunch. Really cool there. Buddy healed. Uh-oh. Buddy Hill, what I got from Buddy Hill? This is rookie Buddy Hill. Boom! And Otto, baby, number two, 39. A Buddy Hill relic auto to 39. We sleeving these up off camera, by the way, just to get done with the video. We got some reward points. I mean, somebody, I guess, could have that because I already put it on camera and I'm not editing that out. A Justice Winslow. And then lastly, a Ryan Anderson. I mean, you know what we were really here for. We got some, I mean, the Steph Curry number 299 is fire. Really, really cool card there. And then we got a rookie Phenoms Relic Auto of Buddy Hill, number just the 39. And the last one we have today is this Gala. I don't remember what year this is from, but this is also... One of the more expensive ones that we bought. So let's see what this consists of. Um, I'm just, I'm on cloud nine about the Steph Curry, if we've been honest with each other. That is really, really cool to get a Steph Curry numbered. Um, look for super short printed rising superstars and the ultra rare gala rookies. Gala? Eh, eh, either way. Numbered only two eight. One pack. It says age nine and up. So I'm sorry for everybody that is eight years old and younger. You cannot play with basketball cards because Panini said no. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. I feel like we're going to get a big time hit here, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, I mean, hey, hey, I'm just saying right off the rip. Right off the rip. A Miles. Wait, 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 wait. What? Wait, what is this? I'm sorry, Miles Turner was underneath. This is a Catino Mobley on card auto to 60. And it's it's see-through. That's why we saw Miles Turner because this is cinematic see oh my god, this is a fire, a fire card. That is amazing. Catino Mobley is is a bucket. He is a bucket. We're sleeving that one as soon as we're done here. Next. We, you did see this, and this is a Miles Turner. Shout out to Miles, number just a 60. And we have an on-card auto on this one, too. And this is a rookie. Rookie on-card auto, silver screen auto, number two, just 60. Next, we have Tim Hardaway Jr. Relic Patch. Not as cool as the other one, especially since he doesn't play here anymore. But, I mean, Relic is cool. Okay. Next, Dennis Rodman, number to 60, Relic. That is beautiful, especially for a Bulls fan. This is, so far, this has been a huge, huge W of a pack. Number to 60. And then lastly, we have Amir Johnson. Number to 99. But, I mean, the card art in general? Fire. And ultimately, it was a W. Wow. Steph Curry to 99. Catino Mobley to 60. Uh, beautiful day. All right, y'all, it's day two, and we got two more packages. We have our 2019-2020 Donruss. Uh, I bought this one relatively cheap, 
because I've already opened a bunch of 2019, 2020 stuff. So I wanted to use my budget other places. Uh, but you know, 2019 has got some pretty decent rookies. And then we have this innovation basketball, only one pack, eight cards in it. And hopefully we got some big time hits. And this is from 2012, 2013, one of the more expensive things that I bought. So I need some big time hits here. I still got all this stuff from yesterday, but, uh, we ain't worried about that one. So we're starting off with this one because it is the lower value. And I want to say this, you know what I'm saying? So here we go. 2019, 2020. All right. So Devin Booker, Chris Middleton, Harry Giles. That's, that's pretty cool. There we go. We get a Zion in our very first pack. Uh, it's one of the inserts. Great expectations. Zion Williamson. Cool looking card there. So, of course, that is getting sleeved as we get a base level Zion Williamson back to back. Already got good value in this box. And, of course, like I said, I'm sleeving all this stuff off camera just so uh, we can we can fly through these. Nazir Little, Rookie, Spencer Dinwiddie, and J.R. Smith. But, obviously, this first pack, the Nazir Little, Rookie, our Zion base. And then our great expectations, Zion. Jordan Bone, is this our, hold on, hold on. There's our auto. <laughs> oh boy, it is a Jordan Bone auto. Listen, Jordan Bone had an, um, an extremely crazy draft combine. Ended with the highest vertical, one of the fastest speeds in the shuttle cone thing. So he's an athlete out of this world. Uh, ain't transitioned much to the NBA, but it is what it is. That is our auto, but it's set on average. So, you know, we can have one of the boxes with more than one auto. Probably not. Great expectations. Jared Culver, uh, Jalen Noel, Rui Hachimura. Okay. I saw a guy on Twitter. He sent me his personal Rui Hachimura collection. That's pretty dope. I like Rui Hachimura a lot. And Marvin Williams and Shea Gilgis Alexander. That first pack spoiled us, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the first pack gave us some hits. And after that, it's been kind of dud after dud. We have a Seku. I do have a nice little small Seku PC personal collection, so I like that a lot. Another Jordan Bone. Very last pack here. We got our auto, and that was Jordan Bone. Kind of an L. But you know what? You never know. The last pack could have a little bit of luck. Trey Brown Jr., Tobias Harris, Dion Waiters, D'Angelo Russell here. Uh, changing stripes, and then he changed stripes again. The boy got traded halfway through the season. KZ Akpala, rookie. John Morant. All right, so we get a John Morant base level card there. That's that's pretty cool. We get the top two picks, um, I think. But we got this whole pile basically is rookie. So we got a bunch of base rookie cards. Kemba Walker in his new jersey and some bonus. So, you know, we got a, we got a Zion hit. We got a John Morant hit. That's, that's fire. You know, we'll take that, especially for... Kind of a lower valued uh, box. Not that bad. And now, the innovation pack or box, I guess. Uh, it is a pack too. It's one pack in this box. There y'all go for you ASMR lovers. Let's get this going, man. I'm expecting some type of big time hit. Let me show y'all the back in case you want to pause to see all the possibilities in this one. Uh, featuring a 200 card base set, including 100 base cards, yada, 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 or 25 rookies or 75 rookies. Um, two autos, one meal mobilia car per box. They do not cheap out on these boxes, man. These boxes are so cool. Look at that. And we got our one pack. Oh, Ooh, hello. Kobe anthology, five trading cards. Thank you. Panini. Does it, what does it mention? Kobe on the back of here. Let's open the Kobe's up first. Rest in peace. Kobe. Y'all know. We got nothing but love for Kobe over here on this channel. So let's see what we get. Kobe. Beautiful. Uh, these are beautiful cards, man. I'm guessing they don't have much value because they're they're all one pack. But, I mean, sentimental value. It means something to me. So, yeah, these are that's pretty cool, man. Rest in peace, Kobe. Yeah, we got some stickage? No. Rest in peace, Kobe, man. Okay. I'm even keeping keeping this. That's actually a really cool packaging. All right, but here we are. Two autos and one memorabilia per. Here we are. So we start off with a Dominique Wilkins. A Stephen Curry. Got to make sure none of these are numbered. Stephen Curry, 2012-2013. Okay. Okay. Um. What the heck? Okay. Kent Bazemore? 
a Kent Bazemore rookie card. The Bays got. Okay. Clear. Tony Parker. Wait. Oh, Jan Vesely. Oh. Oh, my heart. Tony Parker, though. Efficiency. All right. I'm going to flip it. I saw the Jan Vesely already. Ooh. 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 Oh, Paul George. Let's look at this Jan Vesely first, though. 2012-2013 class is actually a really nice one. Uh, I mean, at least I enjoyed it. And we got two rookies that we just don't mess with. Jan Vesely. But, I mean, this Paul George, number to 99 relic. Pretty cool card there. All right. But now where's our autos? Hey, Patrick Beverly. Now, for a lot of people, that would be a miss. But Patrick Beverly is one of my guys. So Y'all know we do this because I, I like collecting cards. So a Patrick Beverly stickered auto. And then our other autograph is a rookie Myers Leonard. Eh, not great. Not great at all. The Pat Bev. Oh, brother. That was not... Ah. I mean, it's a cool-looking card. Do not get me wrong. But it's also Myers Leonard. I mean, we would take almost uh, any other rookie. But Myers Leonard autograph. And it's on card, so that's kind of cool. It's actually... I couldn't even tell what this is, but you can tell that that's a, that's a fresh marker. Myers Leonard on card auto. And those are our two boxes for the day. So, so far, we're halfway through with our unboxings. Um, the innovation wasn't bad. I can see myself going back and buying another one and hoping that we hit somebody that we that we like a little bit more. But we got to wait till tomorrow to see what it brings. And hopefully it's something. Because as of right now, nothing is scheduled to come. So we got to wait. Okay, y'all. Wednesday's mail day is here. And it brought us four. An all-time high. Four different things. Shout out to the people that are selling these things because they're getting to us pretty, pretty fast. So first we do have this uh, Timeless Treasures 2013, 2014. I was really excited for this one. Find every player, every game, patches featuring full game, yada, yada, yada. Two autos and one memorabilia card per box. A W if you ask me. 2013 is one of the, the years that was kind of high on my list. Then we have like some jumbos, baby. We're going to be here for a minute. So I'm going to have to cut this up uh, a decent amount. We have 2010-2011 Panini season update. Uh, look for autographs from Kobe and John Wall. You hit me at Kobe. So there it is. And then we have this, what year is this? 2017-2018 Donruss pack. 24 packs. We did the Donruss yesterday from another year. It was fire. So I'm looking forward to that one. And then lastly today, we have NBA hoops from the year 2011-2012. And then it says... Two autographs per box. Find rare championship cards featuring the 2010-2011 NBA champion Dallas Mavericks. Look for rare Blake Superior and Kobe Black Mamba cards featuring two, yada, yada, yada. So uh, a lot of Kobe love on this Wednesday. So you know what? What year do we start off with? Do we start from the bottom and work our way up? I think that's the goal. So we're going to start with the 2010-2011 Panini season update. It's got to be that our mail lady thinks there were crazy people here in this house because she delivered 12 packages to us just today. Yesterday was like eight. The day before, there was like six. And I don't think it's getting any lower. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So we're just obeying the rules of the social distancing and ordering a lot of things online. As we start off with Taj Gibson, Nick Young, Darren Collison, Sasha Vujicic, All-Star Mari Stoudemire, insert... And there's another all-star there. It is going to be Drew Holiday, but this is rookie sophomore talent. Jeez. Yeah, we kicking it back, man. Drew Holiday as a sophomore? All right. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> there's our auto. Jeez, could it get any worse? Timothy Mozgov and Landry Fields auto. Could it get any worse? 2010, man. 2010 draft class. This is the auto that we get. Yikes. I mean, it said on average, y'all. So who knows? We could luck out and get another one, but chances tell us that we won't. Here, let's pack here. Um, and overall, unless this one brings us some greatness, I would say that this whole box was a was an L. Uh, just you know, 
didn't produce the way we wanted it to. There's a code. You know, we take all Kobe cards, base level or not. And yeah, that's it. That's it for this box. Uh, I, I would rate this out of 10, a, a solid 3 out of 10. But you know what? That's why we're doing this experiment, right? We're trying to see what products are good, which products are bad. 2013 draft class had some big time hitters. Take the sleeve off. Beautiful. I'm telling you, bro, some of the packages are ridiculously smooth. Then you open wide and you get that little message. All right. All right. And our singular pack. Kobe Bryant, number the 299. Not a super short print, but come on, man. Anything Kobe related at this point is being stashed away, sleeved. I'll do anything to just, you know what I'm saying? This is a pretty cool Kobe. Then we have Utah Jazz. Carmelo. All right, let's see which, what we got from this Carmelo. A game trends, a treasure trends. You know, nice little relic there. All right. Tony Snell. That's our rookie. Tony Snell. All right. It better be a cool looking card at least. And you know what? Listen, that's not an ugly card. But it's Tony Snell. So it's what? A six cent card? Okay. All right. Of course, we're going to sleeve that. Then we have Marshawn Brooks. No way. A Marshawn Brooks auto, number to 49, so it's relatively short print, but it's Marshawn Brooks, you know what I'm saying? And then lastly, a Chandler Parsons die cut. Is that like a puzzle piece? So those are our picks from this, the Kobe, Tony Snail rookie, Marshawn Brooks auto, uh, Carl Malone, and Chandler Parsons. Uh, Kobe's cool. Yep. All right. Next, and we get right into it. All right, let's go. 2017, 2018. And we start off with one of my favorite rookies of this year, man. I have a, a little small um, Jonathan Isaac personal collection. So to get his rated rookies off rip is a good sign for me. George Hill, Alonzo Ball rated rookies. Nice, nice. We're starting off kind of hot. Uh, takeoff, all clear for takeoff. Glenn Robinson, that's an insert. We'll keep in the middle. Torian Prince. Patrick Beverly, Dwight Howard, Tobias Harris, and Willie Hearn Gomez. But listen, right off rip, we get Alonzo Ball rated rookies and a Judah. Jason Tatum rated rookies. Nice. Look how small and skinny this man was. I mean, he ain't put on that much weight since then, but he's just so much smaller then. Oh, is this it? Is this our auto right here? It's going to be Frank Kaminsky. It is going to be a Frank Kaminsky auto. Significant signatures, Frank Kaminsky. So, sure. Okay, and that's probably the end of this box, to be honest with you. Wow. All right, so, so far, today has not been a great day for our three boxes that we opened, but you know what? That's part of the game. That's part of the game we play. Okay, y'all, today's the very last day. Um, we're missing one package, but I just talked to the person that was selling it to me, and they haven't shipped it yet. So we're going to open up that one. I think it's a Core Kings from 2018, 2019, or 2019, 2020. We're going to open that... Uh, on one of the other channels. Link is in the description. You see how we do that plug. So today we have a Pinnacle 2013-2014, two autograph, one memorabilia card per box. Dope. And then this is the one I've been looking forward to opening more than any of them. This Momentum, this is from 2012, which is the number one ranked draft class on my favorite draft classes. So this one is a little bit better than some of the other ones. Um, I'm like guaranteed some stuff. It's one pack, you know what I'm saying? Higher chances with that one pack. So we're going to save this one. 15 cards per pack, one pack per box. And we're going to start off with this Pinnacle. Now, the reason we bought this one is because I've never heard of it before. And then after I looked at it, it's like, it looked cool. You know, some of the card art was better than some that uh, I've seen before. So I decided this was going to be one of the ones. And today is the last day we can pull some greatness. So far, we haven't had the best of luck. Jared Dudley, Elgin Baylor, Earl Clark, a name ain't heard in a minute. Larry Nance, Kevin Love, Eric Bledsoe, Dominique Wilkins, a rookie, Victor Oladipo. Nice, nice, nice. So this is that draft class, Victor Oladipo. Um, who else is in this draft class? Uh, uh, yeah, it's got some hitters, though. It's definitely got some hitters. We got, like, Giannis. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but Victor Oladipo, rookie card, is pretty cool. Jared Sollinger, Cody Zeller, fourth overall pick. So we got two top five overall picks. And then we got the rookie of the year, 
Michael Carter Williams. Now, none of these cards are probably going for anything because um, none of them panned out to be super good. Obviously, we know Victor Lipo was an all star, but I don't know if he's got much of a mark as far as cards go. And this is a name I've never heard. Elias Harris played for the Lakers, apparently. A hard pass, hard pass on that. Paul Pierce. Then we have a Paul George Jam Fest insert. That's a cool, very, very cool looking card there. We're going to start flying through these. Julius Irvin, Zimmer for that. Bill Russell. Draws on Petrovic. That's that's kind of cool. Oscar Robertson. I like that we're getting, you know, some, some legends in here, even though it's not nothing super crazy. Andre Roberson. Is that going to be? What the heck? Hold on. Oh, we got some stickets here, ladies and gentlemen. We got some stickets, which is not great. But that's what happens when you get some of these older packs, older boxes. Andre Robeson, rookie card. Okay, I thought it was going to be, you know, one of our autos, but it's just a rookie card. And I, that's a good thing. Not, not disrespecting Andre Robeson, but I ain't really want that auto. You know what I'm saying? Andrew Nickerson, John Wall, Tony Snell. Now, we've had a lot of Tony Snell love uh, in this video alone. A clear vision, John Henson. Yo, that's, that's a fire-looking card. The athlete on it ain't that much of a fan of, but the card in general, kind of dope, kind of dope. George Mikan, I was recently, over the summer, last summer, so I guess it's not recent, it's almost been a year, was driving through Illinois to some random parts, and I saw George Mikan's statue. I was like, that's that's random as hell, and turns out uh, he went to high school there, so I forget what city or town I was in, but uh, yeah, it was, it was kind of cool to see that type of thing. I definitely ain't see that happening. Ricky Lito. Wow. Ricky Lito is a name I remember mostly from 2K. He had like one of those sometimes. Oh, the first overall pick in this year's draft rookie card. This one's probably going to go for a couple hunt. Um, the Ricky, the Ricky Lito thing. He had one of those cards in 2K. No. F no way. No, we didn't just pull a Kobe auto. <gasps> My heart. We just pulled a Kobe auto. Yo! Oh my god! Do y'all see? I can't I'll be back. Alright, y'all, I'm back. Um Bro, my heart, bro. Y'all know nothing but love for Kobe. I've said I've said it like a thousand times in this video every time we pull a Kobe Bryant card. And the fact that we just got a goddamn odd excuse me, uh, we just got an autograph Kobe Bryant on card auto. Pinnacle of success signatures, man. Um I it is that my bro. My hands, I purposefully washed my hands beforehand because I didn't want any leftover like grease or lotion on it. So there's a little smudge on here and I'm guessing that's me, but there's a possibility that it wasn't because I thought I took the precautionary methods. So y'all let me know in the comment section, um, was that my finger or was that already there once we... Bro, a Kobe Bryant, bro. I had to go, you know, I have sleeves down here. I've been sleeving stuff as we go along, but this one had to go... You know what I'm saying? I had I had to top load it. Anyway, um, that's going in its own little special. You know what I'm saying? Wow. All everything I spent in this video is worth it because I got a, a Kobe Bryant auto. Anyway, um, where were we? Okay. Whew. My apologies. I don't even know what I was what story I was telling y'all before we pulled the code, but uh we pulled a Kobe Bryant auto. And now, oh, a nice little shack insert. That's pretty cool. Um, I don't even know. First of all, like I said, the reason I bought this is because I like the card art. And this card art is not disappointing me, man. I really like some of these inserts. But I'm not, no, I'm not selling for the commenters. I'm not selling. No, no, no. That's that's a personal collection type thing for me. But anyway, we back with a Dewan. Nope. I mean, I'm not just going to save a rookie card for the fact that it's a rookie, especially because we know what some of these players turned out to be. But Tim Hardaway Jr. and CJ McCollum back-to-back is pretty cool. Like I said, it's a decent draft class. Um, is this another autograph? It is, and it's going to be Chris Whitney. Not familiar with the name of Chris Whitney, I'll tell you that much. A second-round selection in 1993 by San Antonio. So this guy was a second-round pick back in the day. And he is our other auto for this box. No big deal, though. So we've opened two 2012 type boxes, and we have yet to pull any rookie Giannis. It's kind of sad. Uh, that's one of the reasons why we were excited for this draft class is potentially get any type of Giannis. But uh, so far, nothing. Then the shooter, that's a cool rookie card. Wait, go back to this one. Where is, look at my boy's hairline. G, no, no. Wow. Mm. 
that's that's pretty bad. It's Kawhi Leonard as we get a Tim Duncan insert, Team Pinnacle. Ooh, I see a Shaquille O'Neal right there, but I was just looking at this super young Anthony Davis. Now, it's not rookie Anthony Davis, but he is pretty young there. As we get another Clear Visions card, but this time it is going to be Shaquille O'Neal. Clear Visions, you know, put him up there with with Kobe, but I'm not tripping because we <laughs> we got what we came here for. You know what I'm saying? Jason Williams, Lonzo Mourning, Dennis Rodman. See, these are cool looking cards. Jamal Franklin, Mike Dunleavy Jr. All right, more rooks, more rooks. Archie Goodwin, man, I remember that name. Ty Lawson, I ain't heard the name in a minute either. Ray McCollum. All right, last time I heard his name, I was re-watching Clay Thompson drop, what, 30 points in the third quarter? Ray McCollum's on the court for that. He was one of the <laughs> he's one of the people that got toe up from the flow up. All right, Gem Fest, LeBron James, thank you. That's cool. Chris Paul, oh yes, thank you. Dennis Rodman, Kawhi, Kawhi, it's a cool card. What is, I don't get the Team Twenty Twenty thing, especially because it's it's throwing me off because we're in Twenty Twenty now. Oh, the name of this is looking for clear clear vision, clear vision, Twenty Twenty vision. Oh, Kenny, you're an idiot for not getting that until now. Pablo Prigioni. Nope, that is not Pablo Prigioni. Uh, okay, we're almost there. We're almost there. I'm just at a loss for words still from the stuff we've seen in today's video. And that's it. That's it. The hit, obviously, bringing them back out, is our pinnacle of success, Kobe Bryant. As you can see, Otto there. But this box overall got some cool inserts, got some cool rookies. Really nice stuff. Really nice stuff. 10 out of 10. This was the first 10 out of 10, I can say. And the last one of the video, here we are. Momentum. Momentum. You know, only a couple cards. One pack. And we'll see what it consists of. Again, I really love the boxes of a lot of these things. Like, I will not be throwing these boxes away. I'll keep them. And I don't know for what reason. Like, what am I going to keep them for? What can I possibly use them for? I don't, I don't know. Nothing. Just to look at every once in a while. I'm going to show y'all this pile of stuff in this corner in, uh, in a minute. But Momentum, trading cards. And inside Momentum, we have some more Kobe. We have one of these in one of the other packs, so that's cool. And then the actual pack there. We got Kyrie Irving. Look at this. It's like, come on, man. Tell me this ain't fire. We'll start off with the Kobe. I really enjoy opening the last one, so let's see what we get on this time around. Yep, Team USA. Well, I guess it's not really Team USA, but USA Dunk. I think we got that one last time. Actually, these may be the exact same cards. Either way, rest in peace, Cole. And let's get to the actual momentum pack. Look for autographs from Leeds, the Leeds player, current and past and present, including Larry Bird, Kevin Durant, and many more. And we'll see what we end up with. We start off with a Norris Cole, Jason Richardson, Andre Drummond, Mike Dunleavy Jr., Alec Burks, Scotty Too Hottie Pippen, Jeremy Lamb, and that one is numbered to 49. Number to 49 there when he was in OKC. There's our first auto of the video, and it is Elvin Haynes. Wow, Hall of Famer. Hall of Famer, Elvin Haynes, getting an appearance. I think he's in the Hall of Fame. I think he's in the Hall of Fame. Cool auto there. Is this our other auto? It feels like it. And it is going to be Cassie Cassie Russell, a player that I've not, never heard of. Never heard of in my lifetime. But there's the second auto. So we got our two autos. What else do we have here? Jordan Crawford. Oh, I'm sorry. Do we get more than two autos? Oh, all right, so we get a Jordan Crawford auto 249. Jared Cunningham autograph. He's one of the rookies from this class. Dennis Scott. Uh-oh. Where are you at, Dennis? What the heck? Oh, we got some stickage. Ah. But a Dennis Scott auto. I got a Dennis Scott shirt right behind the camera. Dennis Scott auto to 49. Alonzo Morning, CJ Miles, and Sean Kemp. So in here. We actually got a decent amount of autos. Like, come on, man. This, that's a lot of autographed cards right there. None of them are super crazy to me. I guess the Elvin Haynes is the best just because it is numbered to just five. Uh, so, I mean, very exclusive, very, you know what I'm saying? Very limited print on this card. 
sticker auto definitely getting this one sleeved up with the i guess every auto gets sleeved up for me but those are the cards from our momentum w if you ask me overall today the last day was the best day so i want to thank you for watching this whole video be sure to leave it a like and uh i've been, been wanting to make more car videos um but as you can tell it's actually really expensive to to do some of the stuff i have an ideas for uh but this one was one of the better ones man i may not have got my value back but i got a lot of stuff that i really liked and that's what this video is about man that's what this video is about rest in peace cold that i still cannot believe that man Anyway, thank y'all. We out. Peace.